From the lush Cataract Gorge Reserve to the scenic Royal Park Botanical Gardens, you're sure of a wonderful time when you get to Launceston. Here are the seven best things to do in Launceston. Be sure to stay until the end because we'll reveal a lesser known attraction many tourists often miss. Number seven, visit the Cataract Gorge Reserve. Without any doubt, the Cataract Gorge Reserve is a breathtakingly beautiful natural wonder that's worth seeing. And there's a lot to say about the natural beauty all around this reserve, from the powerful waterfall to the amazing lush greenery. Apart from admiring the beautiful Cataract Gorge Reserve, you will get the opportunity to engage in tons of adventurous activities, including hiking and rock climbing. So if you're up for an exciting and challenging experience, then pack a bag and get ready to feel the adrenaline rush when you get here. Even better, this reserve hosts a wide variety of wildlife, and you may be lucky enough to see wallabies and possums as they move around in their natural habitat, surrounded by breathtaking views of the countryside. You should also know that the history of the Cataract Gorge Reserve can be traced to the 19th century and you'll get to hear all about this when you visit. After exploring the reserve, you can find a tranquil spot to just sit and admire the surroundings. Number six, tour the Tamar Valley Wineries. From the friendly winemakers that take you through an informative tour of the wineries to the local cuisine that will delight your taste buds, there is something for everyone at the Tamar Valley Wineries. Of course, the Tamar Valley region is a hotbed of history and offers more than 30 wineries for your viewing and tasting pleasure. There are also tons of wines available for wine tasting, including sparkling, whites, and reds. Wine lovers will definitely feel at home in these wineries, and apart from tasting the wines, this is a great opportunity to learn all about the winemaking process from the winemakers, who are more than willing to share as much as possible with you. Apart from the wineries, the Tamar Valley also has amazing scenery, and it would be a loss not to take a scenic drive around the vineyards and toward the Tamar River. While here, you should also not forget to pair the wines with a tasty local cuisine, ranging from gourmet meals to cheese platters, all with their unique local flavors. Number five, explore the Queen Victoria Museum. One of the best places to experience the rich cultural heritage of Launceston is at the Queen Victoria Museum and Art Gallery. This museum contains a wide collection of Tasmanian natural history with tons of exhibits showcasing colonial history and Aboriginal culture. Art lovers will definitely enjoy the diverse range of historical and contemporary art collections here. With sculptures and paintings from some of the best artists around the world, the interactive exhibition also gives you a chance to have an even more engaging and hands-on experience, the likes of which you may have never experienced before. The exhibitions are all fun and friendly, with a few items showcasing advancements in science and technology over the years. This museum is open seven days a week, but we recommend that you go on a weekday when the foot traffic will be lower. Luckily, the Queen Victoria Museum and Art Gallery also offers a family-friendly environment with interactive experiences and the opportunity to witness fantastic scientific advancements. Indeed, these are only a few of the reasons why it attracts thousands of tourists every year. Number 4. Stroll to the Royal Park Botanical Gardens The Royal Park Botanical Gardens in Launceston is a perfectly tranquil environment for anyone looking for an opportunity to escape the hustle and bustle of the city. Located in the heart of the city, it's easily accessible, and the diverse flora and fauna in the botanical gardens will take your breath away. The flowers are absolutely marvelous and don't even get us started on the numerous species of native birds that are a delight to watch. Surely, this is a great place for exercising, bird watching, or even setting up a private picnic with friends. What's more, the Royal Park Botanical Gardens are one of the oldest parks in Launceston, as it dates back to the 1800s, but that takes nothing away from the natural beauty that has existed since its inception. You should definitely take a stroll through this garden and spend a few hours admiring some of the most beautiful animal and plant life you will ever come across. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide will teach you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number three, visit the Bogues Brewery. Beer lovers are not left out of the wonders of Launceston. 
and this is because the Bogues Brewery is available for your viewing and tasting pleasure. Plus, it represents a crucial part of the rich cultural heritage of Tasmania. This brewery has been in existence since 1883 and still stands strong today, with the opportunity for visitors to take a private tour of the grounds. After learning the science of brewing through the guided tours, you also get the chance to taste freshly brewed beers to your delight. Indeed, this is a great opportunity to learn all about the history of brewing alongside the history of Tasmania. There's also a gift shop in this brewery which makes it perfect for getting a few gifts and souvenirs that will serve as a pleasant reminder of your visit. You should definitely not miss the chance to taste some of the best beers in Launceston while you are here. Number 2. Explore the historical city center. Come to think of it, how much do you love architecture and history? Well, if you consider it super important, you'll be happy to know that Launceston plays host to one of the most amazing architectural marvels of the 21st century. The historic city center is a clever mix of Art Deco, Georgian, and Victorian architectural styles, which will definitely be a delight to explore for anyone that truly appreciates historical architecture. A visit to this city center is a great chance to admire its beauty and diversity as you walk through the walls of this edifice that is now more than a hundred years old. It's an amazing opportunity to get a glimpse into the past of the city and explore its evolution over the last century. This historic city center can be considered a cultural hub as it houses important information on the cultural heritage of the Tasmanian people. So don't hesitate to join the guided walking tours. Rest assured that your tour guide will weave stories that will tickle your fancy. Number 1. Visit the Launceston Seaport Of course, the Tamar River has a scenic view that you wouldn't want to miss out on, and you can get a perfect view of this river at the Launceston Seaport, which is where most nature lovers converge to learn more about the maritime culture of Tasmania. This seaport sits right on the Tamar River and offers a lovely view of the surrounding landscape which is great for a lazy evening of sightseeing. You can also engage in a few water-based activities at the seaport, including kayaking and fishing. Scattered around the seaport are wildlife, gardens, and parks, which you can explore to your satisfaction. You can also get creative with the numerous ways you can have fun here. Surely, the Launceston Seaport promises a truly enriching experience that is perfect for anyone looking to find the perfect spot for a relaxing and laid-back evening, and you will definitely love every bit of it. Click here for more things to do in Australia.